So I love checking out the Zara in a different town and seeing if it's a flagship tier one, tier two. Uh, so here we are in Manchester and let's go see what's inside. And there's might be a few people who are joining us. Um, so we gave a shout out and see what we like. Hey, how are you? Look at this yellow. Hi, Shannon. How are you? Hi, Jim. I'm Hi, Poppy. Everyone's here, including the team and some ladies. So, God, you're all in such good colors already. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I just thought I'd go around and you just gather around. I'm just going to say why I think this is good, who it's good for, maybe just look at all of you and see, like, colors wise. You're all so wearing colors you suit. It's fantastic. I don't think I need to talk to you about colors, but let's see what clothes are like. So, a cohort in a suit. I actually always, you know, I got, I don't know if you remember that brown and white one I got from Zara with a flare and then the purpley one, which had the matching shirt, do you remember that? So they are now getting into the habit of doing a suit which has print and I kind of do like that print. So you would suit that, you love blue. Well, I think you're gonna try it on and I'm gonna give you things to try on. So what I'm gonna do is suggest, hey, that's for you, try it on, how are you gonna style it? So find it in your size and let's try it on you and have a look what it's like. All right, then we're moving on. And you could do it with a plain white shirt. To start with a plain white shirt underneath. Have a look, get it, we're moving on here. White suit. I love a white suit. I have bought many white Zara jackets over the years. This is tucked. Sometimes the button's a bit high, so if you're very long-bodied like me and short-legged, the button's going to be quite high and the crutch is going to be a hello there. So I think we need to have somebody who feels in proportion. You suit, your cool tone, you suit white, navy, charcoal grey, black. I want you in a white suit. I think it would look beautiful, so let's try it on you. Trouser looks nice. It's a nice non-creasy fabric. Always do that when you're looking at the fabric and then just let it go and think, how much is it creasing? Because we know some of the quality of their fabrics has gone a bit, but we'll see. That to me is actually a very nice um, raincoat because it's very drapey and the fabric is nice. This is something that is going to be creasy and you kind of don't mind it's creasy because it's that kind of piece. And for somebody who just likes to throw something on top of what they're wearing, when they might feel it's a bit body conny and they don't want to be that body conny, it's a great thing to throw on as a layering piece. So I want somebody who I feel is those colors. You darling, are you with us? You are, will you try that on for me? Because I think it could be your colors. We might find an outfit to go with it. It's the only one here, so I'm hoping it's gonna fit you. Excellent. A little bit more here, a little bit of drapery. This is a beautiful color. Now I want to see somebody in this color who I think should wear it. So I'm just gonna kind of look and who see who would suit this color. Yeah, I know, hello darling, look hello, at me. You because you've got woman. the warmth of the skin, hair and eye, and that could be a beautiful color on you. So should we try that on you? Should we see? Now, it is a stretchy one. We know Zara are not the best at sizing, but are you 12? Yes. 12, okay, so you choose 12, top and bottom. That's what you're gonna try on, excellent. Come on. Oh, this fabric, I have gotta say, where are you? Have you got your suit yet? Are you trying on, you're trying on the suit? Are you sisters? Yeah. I knew you were. Come over here, let me see your coloring. Like that's your neutral, that color. I'd love to see that color on you and you've got a greeny blue eye. Mm -hmm. Is that your eye color naturally? Yes. Yeah, it's amazing eye. Have you got Irish in you anywhere? Yes. Yes, I thought so. <laughs> it's that, such a Celtic coloring. But those colors are beautiful. On, and interestingly, come over here, because if we look at just how, well, I mean, there's a big difference here in terms of skin tone, but I think probably you're more like your sister underneath this coloring. Yes. But your eyes are blue. Your sisters, look at me, my love, are hazel, hazel. green, hazily green. Um, and your pale peaches and cream. But if I take these colors on you, they're lovely, that palette. And then if I go over to your sister, come here, my darling. They're not quite as good because you suit the strength of color and you suit a muted color. And that's that difference between the two of you, even though on first looks, your hair's a bit warmer, so you need that warmth and you need strength because you've got that lovely sharp coloring. Yeah, cool, all right. So that I kind of want you to try on, but I just don't know if I like the cut. I don't know, do you ever do bustier? Many years ago. Well, should we just see if you still should? Yeah, and if we did something over, it might be interesting. It might look appalling and it might look nice. I don't know, but I kind of want you to try it. Or, hold on, actually, I want to try this on. This is nicer. I want you to try this suit on. Okay. That suit, I love the high double-breasted button detail of that suit. That is really designery. 
and I really, really like it. I think that's fantastic. I want to see it on. Should we see it on? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to see that on with the trousers. You are petite, yes. so we're going to see what we would do, and we might do that little, this thing, the tuck-in. Okay. Who's scared of a tuck-in? Yeah, we might try the tuck-in <laughs> on you three too. Might be doing a tuck-in, darling. Okay, let's look at that. I'd say with dresses like this, they're always going to look better if you switch out the belt, because that belt is like, you're going to pull it together and then it's going to come loose. But if you put an amazingly strong belt on this, it could be a great dress. So I think we'd like to try it on someone. And I just want to see color. I want to see your colors. Come here, my, you, you, no, you. Don't look behind you for God's sake, woman. No, it's too chocolatey brown for you. I want cool tones for you, so not your shade. You're wearing that mad yellow. Come here, let's have a look at that color. Which it does, actually. So you're gonna try this dress with a very cool belt. All right, so get your size in it, and we're going to try it on. See what else there is. Okay, I quite like that. I think that's quite a fun necklace. We might think somebody's got something they should wear. We might do that with your dress, but let's see what belt we're going to get you. I kind of like that as a layering piece. I think I might try that myself. Celine Dior, Chanel, all of them did this chunky, um, this chunky shoe. Now, chunky shoes are Marmite because I love them and some people fall in love with them and some people cannot bear them because I think it depends on which decade you grew up, it depends on how great your legs are, it depends on how good your ankles are. So if you have great ankles, you will always generally love more delicate shoes. You've fallen in love with kitten heels at some stage, you might have worn a stiletto and you felt my ankles and my legs are my point, so I invest in shoes. I never felt they were mine, so I go for chunky because then it makes me feel my calves don't look so undefined because there's so much weight at the bottom. Who likes them? You like them? Okay, Paris, you're gonna try them with something. So find your size, we'll get Paris to try them for us. And Paris, I wonder if you try them with that, which is kind of cool dress for you, like a summer look, and then we're gonna get a fab belt and we're gonna see, she never comes on the shopping trips, Paris. <laughs> we're gonna see what Paris looks like. And now we need a black belt over here. And Paris, you might try that belt with it. Okay, now, broader and lace dresses we've done. That's something interesting and cool. Who looks at that and thinks, ooh, nah. Okay, that's because it's not your sort of look or anything, but I'm just gonna put it on because I do think that it's something I haven't seen for a while, but I do think it's a cool Mac. Let's just see if we think it's interesting. Do you remember my Prada Mac, the navy one I always wear? But it's just, I think what's cool is the shape. And if you wear it with a shoulder pad underneath, it's just a, it's a cool thing. And I think the color is beautiful because it's that sort of gum metal. But you'd never wear this with a dress. You know, you'd wear it with a chunky boot. You'd wear it with a, a kind of loose trouser, which you might take in at the bottom. It requires a look to make it work. Otherwise, you will feel like that's a tired Mac at the back of the cupboard that hasn't been worn for 20 years. But I actually do think it's nice. Yeah, and I am wearing a very broad shoulder. Okay, let's try it on you, because you're like classic. You're what I call a modern classic. So what I'm gonna do is, that's your look now, but I'm gonna get you to put a jacket on underneath, because I need you to have some structure. So let's just get any old jacket. So you put it on like that first. But already, I think it's kind of cool. Okay, but you've got quite narrow shoulders, mm. but it is, there's something cool about it. There's something like, the other thing was neat, but now you're suddenly a bit cool. And I would obviously also do that. Oh. Okay, <laughs> all right, there. But there is something, but you're standing there like you're in your dad's one. So let's just give you some structure first. I know this is totally the wrong color in terms, I'd never do this color with it. It's actually a nice shaped jacket. So, and we're just literally using this for the shoulder pad. So don't pull it in at the front. So now there is, do you see there's a shoulder pad now? Do you see the difference that makes? And with your coloring like that, and just imagine you were just doing that. I think you could just like own it. Own it, chick, own it. Have a little walk, have a little walk. It's like, it's cool. Yeah, it's very, it's like a very different woman has come to town than the lovely, neat, whatever. And then, you know, we might do stuff with your hair later. I might just do a bit of mushing. There's something, do you see what I mean? There's something quite cool and with your boots. 
Yeah, okay. All right, darling, that's you. But I do love that color, the suit. I think you should try the suit on with the t-shirt. Let's kind of wing our way around here. Pajamas, pajama trousers. This is interesting. Let's talk about suits that are kind of pajamas, okay? So who's scared of doing that sort of deconstructed suit? Okay. Yeah, all right, so those are very cropped and pajamery, all right? But I think that with that jacket, I think it's potentially a cool look. And it might be that somebody's petite and it would just be a really nice crop on them. Would you try this look? Okay, so you're gonna try this look. Your jacket, so you are five foot six, five, four? Five, three, okay. And then we're gonna try the trouser. So find the trouser and find the jacket. And then we're gonna also do it with the shirt and do a little half tuck. So get that whole look together in your size, and then we're gonna try on upstairs. This coat is um, a coat I've bought on and off over the years, and I just think it works as a coat really well. So it's what I call suede. Something our mums might have thought, mm, suede, you know. But they're really chic because they're very clean, and they just hang easy. I had the one in leopard print, do you remember? and they're not that expensive for a coat because they're like 49 quid. And you can just put them over trousers. You can belt them as well, you know. I would belt that too. But I just think it's very simple. And when something is really, really simple, you don't know where it's from, you style it up, you put silver under it, you put a beautiful brooch on it, and it just, it's a good piece. Who would be a good melange of gray? Would you be a good melange? You might be a melange great. Can I, can you just take off your puffer? Can we see this on you? Because it's very interesting to see, should people who have a grayer hair wear gray? You know, sometimes you feel not, but I wanted to see this with your scarf. Like that, like that. And then I'm gonna rearrange that scarf, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna rearrange that scarf. But even like that, how clean and chic is that? It's so nice on you. Have a look in the mirror. It's just really, it looks so expensive. I mean, from here, it looks like suede, doesn't it? It really looks expensive. You might want to do a small. This is an extra small. Yeah. So you might want to do a small. And try the scarf a different way for you. It's about having all the color around the face and just hanging it so that sometimes a scarf, if it's really big, I will underpin a little bit, but it's just so nice to have then the color. Instead of seeing your neck a bit, just have the color right around your whole face. Just having a look there. Yeah, it goes great. But that's a very good coat for you. I think you should try it in the small and consider it. All right, great. Should we? Where's my coat gone? 12, 12, 12. 12, 12, 12. Cool. All right. But I weirdly, I loved it also. Just so clean. Really nice. Yeah. And also, you wear ecru, and ecru probably suited you before your hair went grey, but you suit white now. And this with a Chris White shirt would be beautiful as well. Thank you. Now, I put my jacket somewhere. Leaving my clothes around, Zara. I love these. I've seen these a lot, and I did actually buy them because they are the perfect sandal. And I always think that in the summer, when we might go on holiday, we, shoes is the thing that takes up so much room in the wardrobe. But metallic, gold or silver, it's like the one pair of shoes you need. And sometimes I do a heel and a flat in a metallic, and I don't need to think of anything else. So I've got two best shoes and a trainer and I'm done. So those are just perfect and they're comfortable and there's cushioning here. They're really, I think they're great. Really nice. But you suit silver more than gold. So we hope they come in silver. Should we go upstairs and see what's there? So, you know, when you're shopping, it's important not to feel tired. What? Oh my God, look at that suit, you look amazing. That is so good. Oh, there's this. I see the suit. Show us the suit, darling. Here, turn around, turn around. Oh my God, I love that. I love that. Paris, you look great. Okay, all right. So we're going to start with this. I know, but we're just going to start. Did you? Did you not have your size? No, they didn't. Okay. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do that. All right, because I think that would be good. And then I'm just going to turn that up, keep the sleeve down. 
and just do that. You know how I pull the things yes. up sometimes. Yes. We're getting into styling it so that it feels cool. Okay. And I think the open neck shirt is like an old fashioned way to wear it. You know me in a closed neck shirt. Okay. I've got a safety pin on me Not anywhere. held by the fact that I've only got one boob. That's all right, darling. <laughs> one boob is a, is a boob. One boob is a boob. But that I love just like that. I think it's great. And then your hair is very nice, but I'm just going to shove it out. Sexy now. Oh. Sexy. I mean, that is just fab. What do we think? Should we give her a round of applause? <laughs> How do you feel in it? So it's, I feel completely out of my comfort zone. You do? Why do you feel out of your comfort zone? Um, the bagginess, yep. I'm not used to. The low neck, I yep. always wear round High neck, or yep. turtle necks. Yep. Uh, makes sense. So it's mostly the bagginess. Okay, yeah. so you have gone through breast cancer. Yes. You have. So I, I yeah. you know. So I've had a mastectomy and no reconstruction. So yeah. that's affected as well what necklines I can yeah. wear. But also, but. I'm going to just say, even though you're one boob at the moment, you look fantastic with a closed neckline yeah. because it frames your face. Your skin is beautiful. It kind of, when you wear that color, which is you like your best, it's a sort of ecru, it's your best yes, white. Yes, it's my best white, definitely. And it yeah. makes your face look come to life. So if I look like that compared to open like that, which is just feels a little more dated, I'm gonna say yes. it. It feels yeah, more dated. Yeah. And I know some people feel constricted, but I love that and not even take it over. I think the color blue on you is beautiful. You have amazing eyes. And I just, I think she rocks it. Do you think she rocks it? You rock it. Okay, woo! All right, darling, thank you very much. Oh, trying that off. Come on, Paris. So, Paris trying to, trying to walk. If it's a good color, and this is like, I've never seen you in this color, yeah, and this is a great color on Paris. Yeah. And it's that sort of mustard meat chartreuse, but you have in your hazel eye a little bit of yellow, and that brings the, your eyes much brighter to wear this color. Yeah. And I would probably, literally with this, you could put on a swainy lip. And there we've got the sandals, which make the dress a bit rocking. It's like a cool look. Yeah. And what do we think? What do we think, Trini London team? Because you know Paris yeah. really well, know what she wears, and know when she's out of her comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. It's edgy. It's very cool. edgy. Yeah. I don't associate, I say, feel that Paris traditionally is a modern classic dresser. Yeah, I never and, really do edgy. Yeah, you never do edgy. And this is Paris doing edgy. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. It's Paris! <laughs> All right, then we've got the Irish sisters. Come along. So I am just separately loving all of these, but I'm going to start with you because what's interesting, the colours are beautiful on you. I love it. And you've got your shirt on still. You've done it both out like that. Really cool. But we could also introduce the half tuck. Mm -hmm. So I want to see the half tuck, but you've tucked it into your trousers. It's just sometimes when we're petite, we feel we can't do edgy. Yeah. And I want to feel, can you do that edginess? Can you be a bit cool, not so feminine? You know, you always do feminine dressing and a lot of petite women feel, I know how to do feminine dressing, but you know, they don't feel I can do another I yeah. can do kind of slightly more masculine dressing so again with you I'm doing that like that just to give more variation of the color appearing in more places than just the front of the shirt so I quite like just to give a bit more there and then the tuck is good but I might even tuck in more so we see a front of your boot a bit like that and I can do the same the other side put a hand in this pocket pull that out a bit there and let's just have a look just have a little wonder just have a little wonder I mean, I just think Woo! you are petite and you are owning that suit. I just, I love it. I love the color. What do we think? Yes. Yeah. Come and have a look in the mirror properly. It's really cool. And you're, you are hourglass figure petite, used to dressing form fitting. But sometimes we get to an age where we think, I suddenly feel I'm my mum or I'm, you know, it's just that like doing cool is harder when you're hourglassy, yeah. you know? And it's yeah. something you'll look at the cool girl without the tits and the broad shoulder and you yeah. think, well, they can't do sexy, I can own that, but yeah. I can't do them, and yeah. you can. So I, I love Thank that on you. you. And other sis, I really want a swainy lip on this one badly. <laughs> I love the cleanness. I think it's just magnificent. And the trouser can be just floppy and wide. I like the black at the bottom. I like the silver jewelry. I think it just, it fits you beautifully. It looks really expensive, the jacket. What would you wear underneath, Trini? I would probably wear, I would dress it down mm -hmm. or I'd wear silver. Mm -hmm. Like I'd wear a, like a metallic shirt mm -hmm. done up at the top or I'd wear, if you wore like a silver cami yeah. with a high heel, 
that's probably a more classic way of wearing a white suit. Yeah. So sometimes it's about how can you wear it so it feels not how you might have imagined wearing a white suit, which mm -hmm. might have been that. Yeah. And it's like you could have some long silver necklaces, mm -hmm. the trainer, it's very different. So it's just the versatility of a white suit, as long as you don't have children with Nutella on their fingers, is that you can dress it up or dress it down. You can take it on holiday, just wear the trousers, just wear the jacket. A white suit seems the most impractical thing, and yet you'll never know how you live without one. And if you don't see white, it's going to be your ecru suit or your cream suit. But any size and shape and height looks good in a white suit, or a variation of. You look fabulous, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. And now we've got the cool... I want to see this with a white trainer, in a way, I have to say, because the black at the bottom. But you've got the most amazing shape. You've got blue eyes are the color of the bloody suit. I'm still going to do a little George there, like cool, yeah, George. But it's so amazing to show your shape off. But I would, at the bottom, probably yes. do white, because black with cobalt blue sometimes just t saps the joy out of that wonderful color. But with the t-shirt, yes. you know, did you ever work in an environment in your life where you had to wear a suit? No, I was You a didn't, nurse. okay. You're a nurse, but you had to wear a uniform. Yes, definitely. You had to wear a uniform. So this is like, Sometimes if we've worked in a job which hasn't required tailoring, no. we're never drawn to it and we never wear it. No. But tailoring can be very modern when you play it down and you don't work in an office mm -hmm. and you wear it with a trainer and it makes you ageless. Mm -hmm. So I love it on you. Thank you very much. And then we've got, oh, come on over here, my darling, come on over here, let's have a look. So we've got it done, the half tuck, I love that. The color is beautiful on you. I love the, just like the floppiness. I wanna see a bit more arm, see what's under there. So we're just gonna do a bit of that stripe coming up like that and just have a little poke of it and just pull it up. The color, I think the jacket is quite, the fabric's good, just like that. And this is another way to do a jacket. You can just do that and then take the shirt under and just undo the button, just to bring a bit of that fabric that's on it and do that more. So it just gives something else. So we're gonna turn that down, pull that up, turn it over, undo this button like that there. So that's one way of wearing it. Tuck it in here, just get that over the boob there. <laughs> so that's cool, but I'm also going to think, what are the boots like and would we be able to do something about just tucking it into the boot? because we're in a boot tucking moment. As you can tell, I'm just obsessed with it right now. Have a little walk, just walk, own it, walk it. Walk it. And coming back to us, coming back to us now. Coming back to us now. You know, it's like, sometimes you're, you walk in here and you think, I know those bottoms won't fit me. You know what I mean? It's the most frustrating thing. But the color's beautiful, the jacket's beautiful, the trousers work. I'd love to see them where I see your ankle. Yes. You know, so if you're petite doing cropped, we need to see your ankle. And I think here, this becomes a little bit just hanging down. So in a way, I'd literally take an inch off, turn them up, have a, like a chunky sandal, and then it gives you a little bit more height mm -hmm. and puts a proportion in. But, okay. you know, it's a, it's a way to think about dressing differently. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> you love that hat, don't you? You my love, hair. it's your hair, but your hair's fine. Can we just, are you uncomfortable with your hair? No, go on your hair. Okay, I'm trying to let it go grey naturally. You're trying to let it go grey naturally. So what we're just going to do here is, we want to see her bloody face, don't we? Why is she hiding behind it? There, we're going to take that off for now. I'm going to undo that and just get that there. I'm going to try the belt with you and let's just see there. There, yes, now we've got shape, haven't we, everybody? And so when you do a shirt dress like this, you need to think where you have the fabric gathers. So it's always good then here, you pull and you bring more fabric to the front. And then here, you're gonna pull it so it's flush here and you bring more fabric to the front. I think it's kind of cool. And then if you had something underneath, you could undo it, but I just wanna see, because you've got the black underneath. So you could have it like that, which I quite like open as well. I like that you need to belt things up. You've got the shape. And then also, do you have trousers with you? Yeah. So the other thing is, you can wear it open, you can have trousers on underneath with the t-shirt over. The color is great on you. I need to redo your makeup. We're gonna do it, okay. But the color is good, and you should, how often do you belt yourself? I, I do. You do, yeah. Because yes. I think it's actually cool. And I just, if we take that off, we could play with it more. But anyway, thank you very much. Well, thank you. All right. 
Okay, let's have a quick whisk round here and see if there's anything else. Oh, I did not see that one before. That's very nice. We love that. We really love that skirt. Who would that be good on? Who hasn't tried something on? What size are you? Size 12. We could do a 10 or a 12. I'm going to do a medium. There. I want you to do that. And then I want you to do that on top as a shirt. Okay, cool. Okay. I want you to try it on, darling. And then also we might do some color blocking. Hold on a second. Or even the white jacket, that's quite nice. But I quite like, I want to see what this color's like on you. Let me see. Yeah, I want to try that color on you. This is an oversized jacket, but these colors together, dreamy. So let's just try that whole look on. Oh my God, that's fabulous. I'm sorry, but that is just fabulous. That is like, Jemima! That is such a cute bag. Oh my God, I'm just literally taking both. And then I think you just need that bag with it. Give me your other bag. I just got to say, I think the color is great, but I think that is a cool, easy dress for you and you can wear it closed like that, or you can wear it open with a white t-shirt and white trousers, or you can wear it with khakis or with jeans underneath, like dress over trouser, or with leggings. But I like the color. You can so wear the print because you have strong bone structure and a strong haircut. So the print doesn't wear you. So you do, do you wear prints? Yes. You do, and they, it looks great on you. Yes. All right, darling. Thank, Thank you. you, give her a round of applause. Yay! All right, let's keep going, see what else there is. Really pretty dress. That would look nice on you too. You haven't tried anything on yet. Oh, you've got it on, come here, darling. You know what was so good is I felt it was yours already. That's, that really shows me it works. But that is super cool, I love this. It's that slouchy Mac. You model it beautifully. I love actually with this shirt. And it's just, it's super, super cool. I love the little, also, you know with this Top Shop shirt I have where it always comes out. Yeah. But just having that coming out is so cool. Yeah. It was made for you, it's divine. And now I want to see what this dress looks like on you. So find your size and try it on. Nearly done. Travel bags. I mean, these are, I don't know what these are, if they're the Zara bag, but that bag is just such a great travel bag. That's like so cool. I really love that bag. You can get from Amazon these things that like organize your um, inside of your handbag. And the really big one is about 20, 15 quid. But I would put it inside that because as soon as this has permanent structure, it seems more expensive and you think of more ways in which you might use it for holiday. But it's your bag, you'll take to the beach, you'll take it when you're traveling, it doesn't weigh anything. I literally am gonna buy them in two colors now. That's how much I love it. Okay, all right. That shape is gorgeous. I love the, do you ever wear the shape shoulder? Never, no, never. never. Seen it You've never seen it before. So shoulders back, shoulders back, shoulders back. You know what, because me at the moment, I need to keep my shoulders back mm. and I'm starting to do that. Mm. And so it's like really good. But the shape is beautiful. This on your figure is very good. Your, I know feet standing there feeling so self-conscious, <laughs> but don't feel self-conscious. How gorgeous does she look in it? Yeah. Okay, do a 12, turn around. It's really just <laughs> such a pretty dress. Mm. And you never thought of it. No, What's no, your no, evening not dress? Color. Not that no. color. But you've got a bluey green eye, which can pick up a little bit of green. Mm. And I think with your hair color, this is beautiful. That little soft orangey yellow tone picks up the warmth of your strawberry blonde hair. Mm. I think it's masterful and you'd wear like a nude shoe yeah. or you'd be a retro shoe like this. So let's just try that. That is actually such a cool so shoe. Cool. There we go, like that, you see. And then you just like that. That is so cool. Woo! <laughs> Darling, you've got to get it. It's like, it's such a dress. Yes, it's a great it? dress. You. You're welcome. You'd never pick that. That's great. Okay, that's it now. Okay, where is our lady? Oh my God, there she is. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, you look so cool. You look so cool, darling. I love this on you. I, first of all, I love your hair with it. I love the combination of the pistache with I've the pink. I've never worn a skirt before. You've never worn a skirt? Before. Really? This is my first time. I mean, this is, because also, 
You said you had a problem with your foot. Have you had an operation on your foot? Yeah, so yeah. So difficult totally. wearing a heel. Yeah, at the moment. Okay, and therefore it makes you think, I never wear a skirt. But the juxtaposition of a sequin skirt and a pair of trainers is like, yeah. I don't have to try. And yeah. you look so cool, darling. I it just got to say, nearly the coolest outfit of the day. Yeah. Just like, yeah. you can channel it, and I think that you should invest in a sequin skirt at some stage and you wear it with a t-shirt and trainers and you just like, it would take you everywhere. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so I just want to thank everyone who turned up today. There she is, off she's going hopefully to buy it. Turned up today <laughs> to join me in the little Zara shop. It was lovely. I hope you all, most of you got something to try. But um, it was just a joy to have you there because it stimulates me to think of what would suit somebody and why would it suit them. and. I learn every single time I do these from different body shapes and people and, and characters and what they feel comfortable to wear. And so when I'm doing future Zara shop ups, I'll have you all in my mind. Anyway, have a great day. Bye. Thank you.